Hello, I'm Stephen Connor. I'm the host of Fallout with Veteran Services. We came up with a name now. Um, today's show, we are going to discuss the upcoming events that are happening in both May and throughout the summer uh, and for the remainder of the year. With me, I have my guests. They are both members of the Veterans Council. First, we begin with Brad LaVey. Brad LaVey is the president of the Veterans Council of Northampton a Marine, um, Korean War. Korean War. No, not World War II, that's what he told me, World <laughs> War II. All right. Um, no, World War I, you said, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, and also we have the, um, I'm not sure what your title is with the council, except the council. very active. He's, yeah. he's press, press, press secretary. Uh, oh, there we go. Information officer. Yeah, there you go. Slash specialist. Yeah. And right. you are the vice, pre vice commander of vice the VFW 8006 and acting commander right now right because now. the... Jim Commander Jim. is not right. well. Yeah. Um, welcome, both of you. Thank you. I uh, appreciate you. you. Our second show. Um, so, some of the things we want to talk about are well, why don't we start before we go right into um, Memorial Day? And just so folks know, May is Military Appreciation Month. And with my last show, you would have heard of us talk about the um, Small Town Veterans Expo that we had in Cummington. That was the kickoff. There's a couple of more events, one's in Springfield. Um, but before we go too much further, I just want to bring up some of the things that the council has had happen so far this year. Um, Brad, would you? Well, uh, we can start right off. This is the first year that we participated in um, the parade in Hoyoke, uh, the St. Patrick's, Patrick's Day Parade. Yeah. And it was a great success, and I think we'll do it again. Uh, we had a nice time and a lot of people that were in Hoyle that were familiar with us and came right out and talked and we really it, it was really a good time yes for that it was, parade it was and chilly I think waiting we'll, but we'll, uh, we'll adopt it yeah chilly and windy you know, yeah. yeah it was very very cold yes. that day yes. of course it's like that every year they tell me but well no last year it was in the 60s it was yeah, yeah. one year yeah yeah. By the time we got through the hot dog that the fire department had, they were cold. Right. You, know? I mean, you got to eat those fast in that temperature. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, that was a very good event. Yeah. Um, and I think that's pretty much what we've done so far this year. So far till now, yes. Right. And uh, now the Veterans Council has been working since well, our first meeting is in January. We had a little bit about the St. Patrick's Day. And then going forth, it's two would, of our biggest days. One of them is coming up this Memorial yeah. Day. Well, this past Monday, uh, Saturday, no, I should say yesterday. Yes. Today's yes. Monday, right? Yesterday, uh, the American Legion, uh, through our council, uh, had a flag retirement. All the excessive flags that we have, we brought them down there, and uh, the Boy Scouts participated. First year they ever helped us. Yeah. And we had 12 Boy Scouts. It was Troop 103. 103 in Florence, and it's going to be sponsored. We're picking them up now for the VFW. Yep. Oh, very good. They're going to leave the Annunciation right. uh, name and pick up the VFW. Yep. Tom was that's, very that's instrumental in helping now. me. Yeah, that's in the works. And uh, we're giving them a home. Yep. Excellent. They were, they were down Excellent. in the basement at the Annunciation School. Right. And uh, they had no heat. And one light, you know. That was actually the troop that I belonged to as a kid. My brother and I both belonged to that yeah. troop. And back then there was like a hundred and... Oh, it's... There was 120 kids. It has a history. And um, I forgot what the name of the building was, but it was right across right from across the church. Right across the old... The old building there. Yeah, the old that, school building. Yes, really small. and it was on that second floor. Yeah. And, yeah, we'd all line up the hall. Yeah. So it's nice to see that Troop yeah, 103 I, I is still a, in existence. I was a scout still. there, the same thing, yeah. But I'm not as old as you, so no, well, uh, let's make sure that we've got the clarity. <laughs> Nobody else is either. <laughs> well, that's good. That's, you know, I, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. You know, we made the offer. They're still yeah. at the Annunciation, but right. we made the offer to sponsor yeah. them whenever they see fit to move because they don't want to go to Northampton. They've been offered yeah. a place in Northampton, but the Troop Master, our Scout Master, Brian Hennessy, Brian stated Henderson. that this is they've been in Florence for 86 years right. and they yeah. do not want to leave Florence yeah. so we've extended well that's really good that they yeah it's yeah. really good that they, they helped yesterday. with the ceremony oh, yeah. they did um, a the fantastic moment. job they were happy they right. 
they said they'd be back again. Okay. Well, so, so for people who don't know, that there's a definite procedure for how you retire flags. You don't yeah. just throw them out and drop them off yeah. to the transfer station. So anybody out there, if you have a flag that is tattered, is ripped or whatever, and it's, it's lived its life, uh, and you're not sure what to do with it, Bring it either in. get it to the American Legion VFW, the World War II Club, right. or you can bring it right to our office. We yeah. have them. Ours were brought up, yeah. and um, it's a nice ceremony, um, which we'll talk more about um, flag retirement in a minute. But you were talking about how the Boy Scouts have right. been right. for 80-something years in Florence. Well, according to the New York Times, Massachusetts has, I mean, Florence, Massachusetts, has the longest continuous running Memorial Day parade on Memorial Day on in Memorial the country. Day. Right. Yeah. And uh, I know there's competition with a place in Pennsylvania and Michigan <laughs> that we've had arguments about. But we're going along with the New York Times and what they right. say. Right. And um, as a little kid, I used to go with my dad. Jeez, we get up at 5 in the morning, so we got to all the cemeteries. So we have it again. It's happening in Florence. Um, if well, you guys would tell us a little a bit. Little, yeah. A little sidebar to that. A little note was th I was informed not too long ago that that almost did not happen to be the longest continuously run our, right. our parade on Memorial Day because about 15 years ago, yes. it was a washout. I mean, an absolute About 20 down, time. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it the was only there was even loom. hail. There was even yeah. hail that day. Yeah. The only way to make it an official parade was they had to have a cruiser. Yeah. A cruiser yeah. showed up and the yeah. color guard from the VFW right. and assembled and marched. And yes. it was an official parade, but it right. was... Very inclement weather. General, General Buffer Hurley, he yeah. was instrumental in that. Right. He said uh, they never stopped the war when it rained. Right. So right. we took off. Long there were, right. from yep. my recollection, there yeah. were uh, quite a few people that were stubborn enough to go out and march all there the way were. through Florence. There were. So there was quite a few that yeah. Everybody got quite wet. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't hail, I'm sorry, it was sleet. Because yeah. my father goes, yeah, there was sleet. All yep. of a sudden it was bouncing off the thing. We yeah. were cold. Yeah, we were going. Yeah? One, yeah. Of the no fellows, what. one of the fellows in the police department yep. told me that. that yep. That's what yep. he recalled. Is they had to make sure the cruiser was there, and yep. he had to get the colors out. And yep. that right. did happen. And there was a parade yep. permit Absolutely. went out, and yeah. it ran. Absolutely. So... Um, but then I've been very fortunate as, as when I became uh, the veteran service officer of, I think I had one day where there was a threat of rain and it didn't happen until after 2 o'clock. Besides that, the warmest day of the spring and sunniest has happened on Memorial Day for Knockwood. Yeah. So we hope it again this yeah. year. But the sun shines brightly in Florence. There you go. Yeah. So Very bright at the cemetery. Yeah, yeah so yeah. let's... Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about um, what happens on Memorial Day starting early. Well, it starts, the parade starts at Trinity Park, and it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, they line up down there. We have uh, parade marshals. Erwin Brady's our marshal. He has a lot of help. Your father will be there. And uh, we we'll line up there, and uh, we have a lot of participants this year. Yes. It's, uh, it's going to be a, quite a... Mm -hmm. Quite a parade. It's going to be a big one. And uh, we go up to, through the center of Florence, make a loop around the town, and come back to the cemetery. Right. We go left off on of the, uh, North Main, and we go onto park, park, on park, on park, go all the way down to Park to the old Florence Grammar. Now right. The community take center. a left there yeah. and, and then back up Maple. Right. And, and the and one thing I remember, it was about seven years ago, the parade got so long, that we were looking, going, all right, slow down the walking a little bit because we're catching up you to were the tail end up of the to parade. The end. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. so um, it's that great. happened at the at the parade at uh, St. Patrick's Day. Right. We came around and we had to slow down. Right. Oh. Yeah. And what what's nice about that parade is is that, especially if the weather is nice. Yeah. As you come through the center of Florence. They're three and four deep, people. It, it draws they, a yeah. crowd, yep. Steve. It's a great like way you, to start. Well, you know. You yep. see them. They're on that walk. Yep. Ten deep yep. in the center. Yep. yep. You know, yep. Or the intersection's closed off. They really, really mm -hmm. uh, show their respect. And then we go into the cemetery at right. Park Street. And I guess I want to back up a minute. Yeah. Um, I know that when I was a kid with my dad, and it continues today, that the different clubs go out early in the morning and hit all the cemeteries within the city to do a, sem to a ceremony there, to lay their wreaths. Yeah. Right. So people out there, That's if you right. hear Monday morning, 
Uh, yeah. Either a cannon go off or you hear some uh, muskets, it's muskets shot. It's right. That's what's happening That's is what that they're, they're at this thing. And it's usually just yeah. the, the military groups yeah. that this are is at just, that. Just right. before the parade, they right. do this. Right. Every, every year. Mm -hmm. And, um, and then a few years ago, the Veterans Council decided to move, to be proper, right. moved our ceremony right into Inside Park Street the, Cemetery. Yeah, we used to do it outside. Right. But it's uh, much better now. We're right in front of the flagpole. People can come in. They sit there with their yep. chairs. It's it's right. a, a lot nicer. No, it's, it's been a very moving ceremony. It, it I mean, really has grown, yep. Steve. It, it really grew. Yep. This year we're going to be led by a bagpiper, too, going in. Yeah, we have a bagpiper. We'll bagpiper leading our yeah. contingent, yep. the color guard from the VFW yeah. post 806. Yeah. We will this be the first year that I know yeah. we're going to have a, a bagpiper, and he will be participating yeah, during the ceremony in yeah. at, the, at the cemetery itself. And also, it's a special year because we're no, marking, the, because Park Street right. is actually one of the cemeteries that's very, very full of Civil War, Civil War soldiers. Right. And, right. and right. so we're going to be marking that yeah. this Didn't year. Did Robert get a, a count as to how many? I think say? we're we're talking about thirty between thirty and forty yeah. uh, Civil War veterans are in that. Right. Um, they're buried there. They're yeah. buried there. And there's names that people will recognize in, right. in the town. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. We'll have their names on a program. Correct? Yeah. The names Back will be of on the a program. program they'll right. be all right. listed. Yeah. Right. And uh, for those that didn't know it. Memorial Day is based on Decoration Day. Decoration Day is based on the Civil War and acknowledging just the sheer numbers yeah. of uh, American Unreal. citizens that died in Unreal. the Unreal. Yeah. So and this is 150, 150 years. years. Right. And it's 150 years. Of right. The right. 150th anniversary yep. of Gettysburg. So so there'll be a special marking so, of that. Right. So we'll have our speaker this year yep. is Oh, Gene Tacey, yep, Council City Gene Councilman, Tacey. Ward 7, yep. and uh, he will speak in Leeds. And right, there's he, a ceremony on yeah. Sunday, the day before, in Leeds. in Leeds. Right. And that's at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and then we go to Florence the next day, and he will be our guest speaker now, there. Gene is a uh, Vietnam era. Yeah, yes, he he's is. a Vietnam era veteran. Yeah, he's a right. veteran. Correct. Correct. Right. So yeah. he, he's a very good choice yeah. this year. Yeah, he's a good he choice. He really, really stays up on all the current events. And he everything. does. He's involved with the veterans. He helps a us a lot. Yeah, right. he helps us he's, a yeah, ton. He's, he's very yeah. good. Yeah. So, of course, for me, it's going to be a crazy weekend because also I have 10 towns now in my district, and Hadley has right. their parade on Sunday as well. I don't know well. how you do it. Yeah. I haven't I pulled really it off yet. I really don't know <laughs> how you do it. I have enough trouble making yeah. two of them. And I go to the and cemeteries early Monday over. morning. Yeah. Then I race over to Amherst. Yeah. They have a... Their, their ceremony is getting very nice. The parade, we're still working on getting more participation. Yeah. But their ceremony at the memorial, the yeah. war memorial, uh, where the new pool is, that's come along very nicely. And that ceremony has gotten very nice. So uh, then I race to Florence and participate in that you one. do leads. And then I run up to Williamsburg <laughs> because that one starts yeah. at 1 o'clock. And yeah. I'm... I'm the master of ceremonies this year, That's so it should be it should be an interesting, interesting day. It'll be a blur. Yeah. Let's let's hope for yeah. good weather. No flyover though. After no, the parade no. in Florence, we're all going down to the VFW. All the parade uh, participants. Uh, no, excuse me, down to the uh, American Legion. Elks. Elks. Is it the Elks? This year? The Elks yes, this year. Right. That's right. right. It's Those are for the parade yeah. participants. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we rotate every year. Yep. Right. You know. And, right. Uh, so yeah. we'll have That's not necessarily there. open for the general public. Public. That's for that's our parade, for parade particip participants. Right. And that's always a nice time. Yeah, they, they know that. So, yeah. so moving forward, all right. So we get past Memorial Day. Yeah. We have another significant day in June right. that um, you might want to mention. That's the flag ceremony right. at the Oaks. It's right. really their big deal, but we help them <coughs> and we participate yep. with them, and uh, we have a beautiful program. Yes. On that day, that's at three o'clock on the June 9th. June I the 9th. Think. We will be yeah, June the 9th. Right. We will be yes. celebrating it at the house that's at that right. time. And, and it's right. open to the public, so right. please feel free to right. come. It's Three really refreshments. Right. And, and, they have and, refreshments. and it really shows the oh. whole process of how to properly retire flags. They, and it's open to the public. And oh. so Wait. when you don't be turned off if you if you come in and you see one flag and people are going. We are only doing this in a ceremonial sense, just so the public can really see what we do. It's a real, it's a really nice ceremony. Um, but the the large 
flag retirement has already happened uh, yeah. on Sad on Sunday. I don't. Um, this one is much yeah. more ceremonial. I don't think the public really knows the protocol of retiring a flag, right. and, th and that ceremony at the Elks really it it's shows an education. Everybody. Right. You you'll be so surprised and. Well, right. I think a lot of people would be surprised just how many flags we had to, we had to dispose yeah. of. I mean, right. there were over 5,000 flags this <laughs> right. past something yesterday that had to be yeah. disposed of, yeah. you know, and you're disposing by burning them. That's well, the right. only way to dispose It's all these cemeteries that we have, Tom. Yeah. You know, we have yeah. to pick up all the used flags. Yeah. And Everywhere, of course we have people bring them in. <coughs> so it Excuse really, me. Uh, really is a... Well, as a city department, we go through, I mean... DPW has put out the flags. They put it out a little early this year for my yeah. um, convoy that went yes. through. But all those flags, they last for a while, but yeah. they, they, they can't, yeah, the weather takes care of them. I and they, see they up in Haydenville, they put all the flags yep. for you. The right. little towns, they came out and <coughs> greeted them. Yeah. Well, Williamsburg. Williamsburg did a heck of a job. Yes. Haydenville. 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 I mean, Haydenville and Williamsburg had a... They had a good... Right. Yeah, they Show had all the things, and they yeah. had a great turnout they for the convoy. They showed their respect. What, yes, and what was hard for me um, was we were supposed to have some a bunch of vehicles yeah. um, from the Army and the Air Force, and we only learned, like, well, almost 24 hours before that sequestration had pretty much put a nix on all those vehicles. Yeah. So I appreciate the VFW and, and them bringing their vehicles. Yeah. So I know there was some disappointment mostly for me, yeah. that our convoy wasn't sure. bigger. But we did have OIF, OEF vets, and all those cruisers and in all the vehicles. So that was really good. Are you going to do this again next year? And we'll we'll perhaps, see, yeah, perhaps. Or every um, two years or something? Uh, yeah, we're going to have the Small Town Vet Expo again. Yeah. We're going to do some talking about it, but we might find a new location for yeah. it um, rather than at the Cummington Fair. But I think we will have some attendance at both the Cummington, Franklin, yeah. and ha Three County Fair. A lady spoke to me. She said um, she heard about it. She got up, she got in her car, and she drove to Cummington. She got there, and it was pouring and pouring, oh, oh. and the rain? place was all shut down. Yeah, <laughs> she yeah. Says, we got. Yeah. You know, she really oh, had a surprise, uh, yeah, but she understood. Yes. She understood. Yeah. 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 It was. It, it was, was just a, a bad. So we did have to call yeah. that. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I was getting word back from Northampton going, geez, it's starting to drizzle here. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, well, we've just had buckets for about an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Um, anything else? We, that, uh, so we get through Flag Day. Um, yeah. And the retirement ceremony at the Elks. That's right. 3 o'clock on the 9th. Yeah. Uh, the actual Flag Day is the 14th. 14th. I right. Yes. But uh, they always do a nice, you know, they are free refreshments to anyone that shows up. They'll right. start yeah, right afterwards. They'll be able yep. to eat, they have uh, drinks. Yeah, it's like a picnic almost yeah, it right. is. after yeah, it's, it's over. It's really nice. It's a family right day. Right. It is. Absolutely. I think the people, if they bring their children, oh, yeah. they're going to learn something that, Tom, they'll as a kid, I never right. saw. Right. You know? They'll have all the American flags yeah. that were Everything ever, will be there. Right. ever used on display. You know, right, from, uh, right. Which is once another. we get through with that, That's I think the next big thing is uh, the Pulaski Day. Right, Pulaski parade. Day parade on uh, 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 Columbus Day. That that happens in Northampton. Right. Right. And then of course day. we're going to be working towards Veterans right. Day. And then comes Veterans Day parade. Right. Also, on I, I want to. I'm thinking about what individual clubs are doing. Uh, there's the um, Florence 5K road race that mm -hmm. starts 15 minutes before, before our parade. the parade <laughs> yeah. on Memorial Day. Yeah, you're right. So um, yeah. people who are runners, yeah. um, we're going to line the route with uh, flags that are going to have some ribbons right. um, in, in reference to the um, incident that happened during the marathon. And we're going to have some colored ribbons to, um, to remember those at this road race. But we also have uh, something happening at the end of the summer that the VFW yeah, that's is. That's right. That's something I instituted again. This is our second. This will be called. It's called the second annual salute to summer. It's going to be a concert benefit being held at the Pines Theater on September Saturday, September the seventh. Doors will open at three o'clock, and the show will start at five and go till ten. The performers we're going to have is uh, Brian McCulloch, who does a heck of a Roy yes. Orbison tribute. Yeah. Uh, Joe Pucci and the American Longboards, they do nothing but be, uh, Beach Boys and surf music. Right. And the final act is a group out of New York, the Bronx Wanderers. And they've been around for about eight years now. It's a family 
that does uh, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. I was just going to say uh, it's Dion and the Belmonts, but they put a, a, a family era. twist on it, <laughs> and they put on a yeah. magnificent show. And they'll be going until 10 o'clock. This benefit will be all the funds that I'm going to collect, or we're going to collect at the VFW. It's $20 a head, by the way, to get in $25 a day of the show. Um, food will be prepared and sold by the Delaney House. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look Park will take care of all the beverages. They always do. But this benefit is for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund and the Korean War Memorial Fund. The memorials are located in D.C. at the mall. These funds are, these memorials are not publicly funded. Right. These are private donations, large corporations, small events like us. We donate our, our proceeds to that to take care of perpetual care of the, of yeah, the wall and the Korean War Memorial, any yeah. upkeep there, any right. defacing, unfortunately, sometimes that happens, right. can be expected. But also on the uh, Vietnam veterans side of it, there's a new education center being built adjacent to the wall across the street where you'll be able to go in and physically type in the uh, veterans that, uh, that were killed in Vietnam or yeah. missing in Vietnam, their name and address, whatever, and it'll come up, the picture will come up, and it'll be a brief history on that, ev each and every veteran wow. from that yeah. era. So we're excited about being able to contribute something to that. So it's a, it's going to be a heck of a concert. Look Park was very gracious in letting good. us have the facility for good. NADA. So oh, good. I want to put that plug in because yep. you know Look Park. They've got a history yep. of helping out the community. Right, right. So, so that should be a great event. And, oh. and like, for instance, the uh, Florence 5K, the money that is raised for that is given for the homeless program's picnic right. at Look Park oh, see? in the yeah, summertime. Yeah, so yeah. whatever money we raise, mm -hmm. it Look goes Park, to that. Right, right. And yeah. Look Park yeah. gives Absolutely. the VA, yeah. that homeless yeah. program, access to their, mm -hmm. I think it's the Dow Pavilion, yeah. where they can have a picnic. The um, Dow, okay. We were yeah. there before. Last year we had an event right. there. So. But back to the concert, if it is a rain out, because we're out in right. Mother Nature, yeah. and I got rained out last year, but... They were gracious enough also to give us the following Friday. Unfortunately, it's Friday the 13th, but they're that might be us, lucky in yeah, case. That be, <laughs> but they're going right. to let us go back, and all the performers will be back if it gets rained out. So uh, again, I, I think back when uh, karaoke became really popular um, <laughs> in the city. Yep. 20 years ago, sure. and or 15 years ago, and Brian McCullough was, was he was place. doing he was right. just doing it as karaoke, and everybody right. went, he sounds just like Roy Orbison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, another okay. thing about Look Park, I think if you have a veteran's number plate, they well, let you. I, I believe it's free admission. I, you know, oh, it is. I'm not, it is. Uh, I have a veteran's plate, and they, I went there one day, and the guy says, well, with that number plate, there's no fee. Oh, okay. so. That's a Again, plus you know, for veterans. Always been community -oriented. Another thing, yeah, uh, the veterans. getting yes. back to the Florence Cemetery there mm -hmm. and the parade, uh, I think we're going to have markers at all uh, the Civil War right. veterans. A special right. plaque, isn't it? Yes, we, we, so, we have the GAR marker yeah. that's going to be at every single one of them. So people um, would be able to they'll identify know these they'll identify who them. are. Yes, yeah, they will stand be, uh, up higher and you'll see... A brand new marker oh, sure. for them. So sure some, real interesting. I'm sure some of the names on those headstones will be. Yes, their oh, family names. Family yes, members still yeah, here. Still, that's right. They and they of course, be. as always, we're going to do the roll call of honor yeah. for all those that have passed away in the past year. Yeah. We honor our veterans yeah. from Massachusetts. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. Well, I want to thank you guys very much for coming and sharing yeah. stuff. Uh, I will. Be asking you to come back before sure. the Veterans Day parade. Anytime, Steve. All right. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad it's Korea War, not the World War One that you're yeah. from. I yeah. wasn't <laughs> sure you could get in here. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Thanks um, for having us, Steve. Really. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for inviting um, us. Thank you for um, watching today. Um, stay tuned next month for another show. Uh, I'm not sure. I think we're we're looking at getting a few people from a nonprofit and from government to talk about veterans and homelessness. Uh, but we won't know that for sure until next month. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next month. And hopefully we'll see you all at the Memorial Day Parade. Thank you.